Extreme drought is rapidly rising the risk of mass starvation in parts of Africa. The UN Refugee Agency said last week that some 20 million people, now think about that, that's three New York cities, mm -hmm. all right, three New York cities are actually uh, areas that are being affected by drought, and 4.2 million of them are refugees. One organization is working to feed the hungry and fight the drought with biofortified crops that are also drought tolerant. Bev Potsma is CEO of Harvest Plus. She joins us from Washington. Bev, good morning to you. Thanks for being here. First of all, what are biofortified crops? Well, thank you so much, Jen and Jim, for having me on the show. Um, biofortified crops are really smart crops. We've found a way, our researchers have found a way of looking for old, original varieties of, of smart crops. And we're crossbreeding with, with new varieties. And, and we've managed to come up with crops that are both climate smart and nutritious. So it's, it's a great solution. All right, so Bev, give us an idea, you know, especially with extreme drought conditions, how these crops hold up. Because, you know, you need, everything needs water to grow, right? Yeah, and as any farmer will tell you, we're pretty much at the mercy of the weather. If the rains don't come, the water doesn't come on time, a farmer can lose the whole crop for that year. And if you're a farmer in Africa and you're feeding your family from that crop and it's your only source of living, that's devastating. So climate change is warming the planet, it's making the rains come later or not at all in some countries. And we need plants that can cope with these, these new conditions. And these crops can. They're great. They're, I'm, and really, we're only finding crops that used to. We're not, these aren't new, this isn't revolutionary. Um, this is about going and finding crops that, you know, once upon a time lived in a very arid area. And if you can cross that variety with good traditional plant breeding with a variety that's also very high, high, highly nutritious and, and drought tolerant, you get a super variety that these crop, these farmers can use. So these are not genetically modified crops. They're just old crops <laughs> made better. Absolutely. And and we, we use only traditional plant breeding. And we, we're a group of scientists. You know, we, we believe in that technology can help us um, tackle these problems around the world. But, you know, the, the world has, has judged that we're not ready for some of this technology yet. And we can do what we need to do with, with conventional breeding. All right. Very interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah especially when you think about what they're doing with yeah. genetics and plants these days. Well, and I love that this takes something old yeah. and makes it better and new. And, right. you know, they have programs in India and Rwanda, but, you know, it seems like that could be expanded. Yeah. Sounds like it could as well.